In this video, you're learning how to lose weight fast. Actually, you don't want to lose weight. Yes, you want to lose fat. You need to understand the difference between losing fat and lose weight because many people, they are losing weight thinking that they are losing fat. There is a huge difference here that you need to learn, you need to understand because can you trust on your scale? So, you need to understand that to see if you can trust on your scale, okay? Like, today I'm weighing myself, I'm 190 pounds, and if tomorrow I weight myself, I am 187, does that mean that I'm losing fat or just weight? And what's the difference? How to burn fat is sleeping. Everyone wants that, right? Can you imagine that you can transform your body in a powerful machine to burn fat, even when you are sleeping? But you need to learn how. The best exercise to lose fat, because there are so many types of exercise out there. Uh, maybe group class, uh, swimming, cardio, lifting weights, crossfit. What's the best one? Is, is there is a best one or you can pick any of them? So in this video, you will learn all of that. My name is Felipe. I am your Brazilian trainer. I am graduating physical education in Brazil. That's why my accent. I help people to fix their body, lose fat, and get in shape. Any type of workout that you do, the first thing that you must, you must do it. It's a past evaluation to see which type of problems you have. For example, maybe you have a misalignment on your spine. Maybe you have hyperlordosis or posterior pelvic tilt, anterior pelvic tilt, scoliosis. Many things can affect to select the right exercise to help you not only to lose fat and get in shape, but also to prevent yourself to develop future injuries. Can you imagine that you have a problem in your spine, you have sciatica, you have back pain, you just start to do whatever? No, we need to evaluate first. That's how I do with my clients. And the reason of this channel is to help people like you to exercise on the right way. In today's video, I'm gonna bring only science-based information for you to help you to not only achieve your results faster, but also to be a healthier person. To start, as I told you before, we need to understand the difference between lose fat and lose weight. Let's understand the difference between losing fat and losing weight. Look, when you lose weight, you're losing water, muscle, fat, and if you overage, you can even lose bond. Why this happening here? Do you know those people that they start doing uh, crazy diets? Just something uh, they search on Google, on YouTube, they start to drop weight really, really fast. You know, like three, four, five pounds per week. It's a sign they're not losing priority fat, but muscle. Why this happen? Because let me explain that. When you're not eating the enough nutrients to your body, your body thinks this way. Oh, I'm not having the, the amount of nutrients that I need to survive. I will start to eliminate things that spend uh, energy, calories, to preserve all the things like organs that keeps you alive, the most important things, right? So, and your muscle, guess what? You spend a lot of calories. That's why when you have more muscle, you spend more calories. But you're not eating enough. And then your body, opa, uh, let me storage some fat, eliminate my muscle, because muscle spends more calories than fat to storage. So your body thinks, okay, let's get out, let's eliminate this muscle over here, let's storage the fat. Because fat requires less energy, less calories of your body to storage compared to muscle. That's why when you lose weight, you're losing more muscle and water and only a little bit of fat because your body wants to keep you alive. Your, body's, your brain is just protecting you of yourself. When you're not eating enough, that's why you start to drop weight so fast. How do you know that? I told you already, drop weight too fast. Also, you can notice on your body. Your body is not toned, it's not firm. It's like, a it's like soft, okay? When you take pictures, you don't really like your body. Although you are waiting and see 
the weight going down on the scale. That's why I told in the beginning, can you trust on your scale? No, you cannot trust at all on the scale because maybe you are only losing weight. What's the difference when you're losing fat? You lose the majority of the weight, it's, the weight's coming from fat and a little bit of water, okay? How do you know if you're losing uh, fat? You can notice on your body, take pictures, you're gonna see your body more toned, okay? It's more firm. How do you lose fat? By following the right diet, the right type of workout. It's gonna help you to preserve your muscle and eliminate fat and water. When you're losing fat, you don't drop weight as much as when you're losing weight. You may lose about one to three pounds per week, depending on your weight. If you're really overweight, it can be a bit more. Or if you, I mean, don't have a lot of, you know, really overweight, maybe even a little bit less than one pound, depending on each person. But you're gonna see your body, you're gonna notice your clothes. Your clothes will fit you better, okay? When you lose weight, you're not losing priority fat. What happened? One pound of fat is this big. One pound of muscle is this big. What happens when you're losing my muscle? Your body keeps, like you bulk, okay? A lot of volume on your body. The difference when you're losing fat, you start to lean up. Your clothes will feel too better. You will see the difference on your clothes. By following the right diet, the right workout is gonna take you to here, to lose fat. But I, I create two examples here. I think it's gonna be easier for you to understand a little bit more what I'm talking about here. Let's see the case of John. John, he weighs 200 pounds and he has his uh, percent of fat, 25%, it means 50 pounds, okay? 25% out, out of tw uh, 200, it's 50 pounds. He lost 10 pounds of weight. In one month, he lost 10 pounds of weight. But six pounds of this was water, three pounds was muscle, and one pound was fat. Now he has 49 pounds of fat, okay? He weighs 190 pounds and 49 pounds. Why? Because he had 50 pounds here, and he lost only one pound out of 10. Now he had 49 pounds of fat on his body. Let's compare him to Mike. Mike weighs the same 200 pounds, same body fat, he lost the same 10 pounds, but now he lost 10 pounds, the majority was fat. Two pounds was from water and eight pounds was from fat. He has only 42 pounds of fat. Both has the same weight, 190 pounds. You see, both has the same weight. Both lost the same amount of total weight, but the difference is the fat, because one of them lost, dropped eight pounds of fat, another one only one pound. That's why it's really important to you to follow a diet plan specific tailored to your needs. Because if you only focus on the weight on your scale, maybe you can be the John case. You're losing weight, but you're not being healthy or actually uh, putting your body in a dangerous position because when you drop a lot of weight, but losing muscle, you actually are walking back, okay? Because what you want is always gain muscle and not lose muscle. Because when you gain muscle, you make your body work even harder to maintain you alive. So to have you on this side here, like Mike, you need to follow a diet plan tailored specific for you, okay? Don't do just like general stuff that you can follow on YouTube or you Google not. You need to have a diet tailored specific to your needs to make sure you're not only dropping weight, but you are dropping the majority of fat, okay? Now that you already know the difference between lose fat and lose weight, of course, now you know that you wanna to lose fat, right? You don't wanna lose weight, don't say this anymore. Do you, you know already that you cannot, you cannot, can not trust on your scale. Don't trust on your scale, forget your scale, okay? Start taking pictures of yourself. It's a better way to check if you change your body losing fat or only losing weight. How to burn fat sleeping? Yes, 
You can burn more fat even when you are sleeping. There is a way for that. Building muscles. Yes, when I say to the girls that they need to build muscles, they often say, look, I don't want to build muscle. I don't want to be that big. I don't want to that volume. Or people overweight, they say the same thing. No, no, I need to first lose they say lose weight, but you already know that it's wrong. But they say lose weight first and then I will build the most, right? Is that true? You need to first, okay, let me lose weight, lose fat first, and then I start to build the muscle. Is that true? Or is that true that if the girls working so hard to build the muscle, they will look like so big? Let me explain that for you. When we, we are talking about of building muscle, Forget the image of the bodybuilder, the guy, the girl's very muscular. It is not what we are talking about. Think about someone that you admire, that you think uh, her body is very, uh, is very beautiful. You really want to be like her. Think about. So this person that you think she has a lot of muscle, okay? When you see a person tall, okay, with the body firm, they has a lot of muscle. Okay, it's this type of building muscles that I'm talking about here. Forget about those bodybuildings, those huge guys and girls. Those things you only will get there if you lose like steroids. I mean, crazy things is not what we're talking about here. You need to work hard to build a lot of muscles. But listen to me, when I say build a lot of muscles, I'm talking about that. Just keep your body more firm and toned. Okay, so how do you do that, right? How do you build more muscles on your body? You need to lift weights. Lift weights, it's the best exercise to lose fat because your body works more when you have more muscle on your body. Do you remember that example that I told you? When you're not eating enough, what's gonna happen? Your body will start to eliminate what? Muscles, because your body consumes uh, a lot of calories just to maintain the muscle that you have in your body. If you, if you don't work out, your body needs to spend some calories to maintain them on your body. When you start to build more muscles, your body starts to be transformed to a powerful machine to burn more fat just because you have more muscle. Think about this, my muscle, okay? Building my muscle, what's gonna help here? Your body view, burning my fat. If you have less muscle here, your body has less capacity to burn fat. That's why you need to build as much as possible till the day that you will die muscles on your body because if you have a lot of muscles on your body and again forget the idea of bodybuilders look, look at me like i'm skinny no you see i'm not that huge i'm not that big like but i have a lot of muscles in my body that's what i'm talking about be fit like the girls i'm not talking about those huge people forget about them, okay i'm just Repeating that because every single day I need to explain the same thing to my clients and other people, friends, they ask the same thing, okay? You need to transform your body in a machine, a powerful machine to burn fat. And the best way that you do that is lifting weights. Because to burn more fat, you need to have more muscle on your body. And the way to build muscle on your body, it's exercise, lift weights. In a second, we'll teach you guys a technique to make sure that you are building muscle when you're working out. Just wait a little, a little bit, okay? And another thing that I get asked a lot, but a lot, I'm well overweight. I need to lose weight first, right? Lose weight, I mean, lose fat first to start to exercise, lift weights. I need to do a lot of cardio first and then can start to do uh, lift weights. Is that true? Of course not. Actually, if you have only 30, 40 minutes in a day, you're not gonna do even cardio. You're not gonna be here doing cardio, okay? You will only do lift weights. We work out, exercise. Why? Because look, cardio is important. Of course it's important. But when you're doing cardio, you're not building muscle. If we have to pick only one, of course, you're going to have to work out. But look, 
If you're serious about changing your body, it's good that you do both, okay? But just understand that, that your priority. When you get to the gym, what are you gonna do? You're gonna do your cardio first and then you're gonna work out? No, you're gonna work out as hard as you can here with all the energy that you have and then after that you go to here and do your cardio workout. We're gonna lose all the energy, the best energy that you have in your body to lift weights to help you to build mass because to train hard you need to work out hard. If you do cardio first you're not gonna have as much energy as you would if you had done your workout before. So if you fat, if you overweight Stop with this idea that you need to spend so many hours here doing cardio or you need to drop some 10, 20 pounds first today to start to exercise. Forget about it because if you build muscle on your body, your body will burn fat sleeping. If you want to really burn fat when you're sleeping, you need to build muscle on your body. So the best exercise to lose fat lift weight, right? But you need to understand the right technique to make your body to build muscle. Because if you do not do what I'm gonna explain for you here, you will not build muscle on your body. You will lose waste time at the gym. Let's learn. Now is the most important part of this video. You will learn science-based guidelines to build muscle. It's not only about working out, but you need to know the right technique, the right science-based guidelines to build muscle on your body. It's not only about going to the gym and do whatever. Let's understand this. What is that? Time under tension. The time that you spend doing the exercise, for example. Have a dumbbell here. So, while I am exercise here, I'm spending time under tension. Let's say if I go up in two seconds and I'll go down in three seconds, I spend five seconds on each rep. It means if I do 10 reps, I spend 50, 50 seconds. So this is the time under tension. What's the best time under tension for you to prioritize to build muscle on your body? Between 30 and 60 seconds. So, if you're going up and two, going down on three, to do 30 seconds under tension, you need to do at least six reps, or even 12. You need to work between 30 to 60 seconds under tension. Usually, between eight to 15 reps, you're gonna be working around this time, usually, okay? The point here is be under tension, but listen to this. If you finish your set like this, boom, okay, so you're doing wrong, you're not building muscle because gotta be hard sets. What is that? You need to finish your time under tension. Doesn't matter if you're doing 8, 9, 10, 12, 13, your muscle don't know how to count. You need to finish like this. <sighs> gotta be hard, okay? If you finish like this, and there, okay. Ah, yeah. Gonna rest. So you're not building mass. Okay, so <laughs> like you need to finish your set like this. And then you rest. So how long you should rest? Between 30 seconds and two minutes. Depend on the strategy, okay? So we can play around with this. And just general rules that you need to be aware of. So between 30 to 60 seconds under tension. Remember, gotta be hard sets. You know, you can't finish the exercise like you didn't do anything. Usually between 8 to 15 reps, usually it can be 16 or 7 or even 6. I'm just giving you a general uh, idea to do between 30 and 60 seconds. The rest is gonna be between 30 seconds and two minutes. You can play around, let's say, the, in one month you're gonna rest for 30 seconds and the other month you're gonna rest 45 seconds. Of course, when you're resting longer, you're gonna be able to lift more weight. But don't focus on the weight, focus on here, okay? Time under tension. Of course, if you're just starting out, like you beginner, you're just going to the gym now, the first approach that you need to have is learn the technique. 
Don't need to work out intense yet, because first you need to learn the right technique, you need to fix your body, your posture, and then you put intensity, okay? Think about this, your body is a car. You want to travel on your car, you want to change your body, travel, you are change your body, you are traveling. But before doing that, you need to evaluate your car, because you know, after a while we're using our car, you know, you need to do some change here and there, fix this, and that, that's the first month at the gym that we do with our body. We fix the body, the posture, and then we start to put intensity. And then you can travel longer without mess up your whole car, okay? And also, when we are uh, training to learn the technique, to fix the posture, all of that, we usually, we usually work with higher repetition and lower weight. Because the goal here is just to learn the right pattern, uh, the right form of the exercise, okay? It's not only put intensity, okay? The focus is not building muscle yet, but give your body more endurance, resistance, and also learning the right technique. After this phase, Usually between one to three months. I always say that usually because some people can be one month, some people two, three, depend, depend of you. We need to do evaluation. That's what I do with my clients. I take posture pictures of them, analyze the whole posture, and then I see what do, why they need. If they need to build muscle, if they need to fix the posture first, because if you start to build muscle with your wrong posture, I see that every single day at the gym, gonna look weird. Have you seen those guys like this, you know, weird, the back like misalignment. So you see all those type of things because they do what? They build muscle before they fix the posture. Okay, so after done that, when you're able, when you're ready, ready to start to build muscle, you're gonna follow these guidelines here. So how many times per week you need to train each muscle of your body? Did you know that? Yeah, there is guidelines for how many times per week you must train your muscle to develop your muscle, to grow your muscle. You need to hit your muscle at least two times per week, each muscle. I say at least because depend of the type of workout, okay? Usually between two and three times per week, it's a good number, okay? Two to three times per week, each muscle. Why is that? For example, Mondays and Thursdays is gonna be your A workout. This is an A-B split, okay? What is that? Mondays and Thursdays, you're gonna do lower body. So you're gonna do exercise for your glutes, hamstrings, thighs, and calves, only lower body. And then Tuesdays and Fridays, you're gonna do only up body. It's gonna be chest, back, shoulder, biceps, and triceps. This is a AB split workout, okay? This is a simple way to split your workout, very effective, okay? AB, Mondays and Thursdays, you do only lower body, and Tuesdays and Friday, only up body. So, how many sets you need to do to build muscle? Damn, it's another thing you see, so complex to build muscle. Yes, you know, when you do things on the right way, you can achieve results faster. That's why when you have a personal training that know how to manage all of that, you achieve your results fast because otherwise it's just like gas one month, another month you gas another thing. Let me tell you, you need to do between 10 to 20 sets per muscle sets, okay? 10 to 20 sets per week per muscle. So basically, let's say if you wanted to develop your chest, you can do three sets of bench press, three sets of inclined bench press, and four sets of flies. You have a total of 10 sets. Or if you want to work your back, you want to develop your back, you can do four sets of pull down, four sets of uh, row, and three sets of reverse fly. You did 11 sets, you need to do at least 10 sets. So at least 10 sets per week and maximum of 20 sets per week that you need to do to develop your muscle. 
okay? If you're hitting the gym, if you're going to the gym twice per week, you can, of course, divide that. You can split that, okay? For example, you're doing here, Tuesdays and Fridays are gonna be what? Up body, right? So you don't need to do all of the 10 sets only on Tuesday, you can split with Friday. How do you know if you need to do 10, 11, 12, 13, 15, 14, how many you need to do for each muscle? Your personal training, if you analyze your body type and see which parts you need to develop more or less, okay? According to that, you can put maybe 12 sets to develop more your chest and then for your back, maybe only 10 because your body don't have the right proportion. And then for legs, for example, you uh, maybe want to develop more your glutes. You have your quads uh, bigger compared to your glutes. So I might put less sets for your quads compared to your glutes because I want to prioritize, I want to develop more what? Your glutes. So those are the guidelines that your personal training need to analyze in order to develop your workout. It's not only going to the gym and doing whatever. You need to know all of that. I know it seems complex. That's why it's a very good option for you to look for someone. It's not only a personal trainer, gotta be someone with the great physical education. Because being a personal trainer here in the United States is a little bit different than in Brazil. In Brazil, we need to go to college. I spent four and another year, I spent four years doing my college and another year doing a specialization. And then I became a personal trainer because in Brazil to be a personal trainer, you must have degree in physical education. You cannot uh, train anyone without a degree. It's different here in the United States that you can be just a coach. You can do some online uh, course and then you start to train people. You need to understand all those gu guidelines here. I know it seems a little bit complex for you just starting out, but if you understand, have a bigger idea of this, it's gonna help you to work out better, okay? But make sure, look for a trainer like me to help you out. If you're interested in becoming my client, right now, I'm not, I'm not taking anyone just yet, but you can always drop your email below or just go to my website, yourbrazilianTrainer.com. As soon as I start to open new spots, you'll be aware of, okay? So it's all for today. I post videos on my channel every single day. I have a library teach you how to do each exercise. Go to my library, pick any exercise that you can ever imagine, just type there. I'll be there with a mini tutorial teaching how to do each exercise, okay? If you have any questions, just drop on the comments below. Thank you so much. God bless you. And I'll see you guys on the next video.